Three years ago, the Helen DeVos Children's Hospital opened an amazing facility in downtown Grand Rapids. Now, they're expanding again. time at the Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. Sherry, what a journey it's been. Three years has gone so quickly and you've done so much. It has been an incredible three years. It feels like it's been about 13 years, um, the experiences that we've had in this time. It's been whirlwind, it's been exciting, it's been a little overwhelming, but it's mostly been just fabulous. Now, a lot of folks don't know about the Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, so take me, take me back to the beginning. Three years ago, we opened a world-class facility. Yes, actually, we've had a children's hospital here in Grand Rapids for about 20 years. Um, we were building within a building over at Butterworth, and then because of the great support of this community and Spectrum Health, we were able to open this amazing building three years ago Saturday. So um, it's been a remarkable journey, and um, we've just loved every minute of it. What can people find here? We have full services, really everything. Um, there's nothing that our families need to leave the community for um, anymore. So we do, we have a huge NICU, a neonatal intensive care unit, one of the largest in the country, um, and that's been incredibly busy. We also have a peds intensive care unit, peds oncology, everything of course being pediatric, so endocrinology, neurology. In the emergency last, room? Emergency room for sure. We had 50,000 kids visited our emergency room this past year. And they so all drank blue slushies. They got blue, blue slushies. The slushies are the hit. It. Yes, we can never get rid of the slushie machines. Oh, we, in fact, when we did our equipment list for the new new floor, we made sure the slushie machine was on Good, it. Good, because it is. you know that was a highlight for me. Uh -huh. it, yes, absolutely. Yeah, who knew? Um, and then we also, in the last year, a little over a year, we um, had recruited a, a cardiovascular surgeon who joined us here actually from the United Kingdom. So um, with his arrival and some additional cardiologists, we have now an incredibly robust heart surgery program so up until this time that was the one thing kids needed to leave the community for and as of the last about year and a half um, we've done well over 250 heart surgeries on children here at um, Helen DeVos Children's Hospital so that's probably one of our most exciting growth programs and now you're opening up the fifth floor would you mind taking me up and telling me what you got up there we'd love to show you the fifth floor and we actually our very first winter here this will be our fourth winter in the Children's Hospital and our very first winter we overflowed into the old space so we knew right away that it wasn't probably going to be too too long we thought originally we'd probably open this floor in about five years we started planning after about two years All right. so we expanded our ER then our OR and then this whole 24 bed floor excellent so welcome to the fifth floor wow this is our new 24 bed unit it's uh -oh. colorful, it's bright, it's kid-friendly, everything I would expect from yes. Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. We always hospital. say if you don't like color, you're not going to like our <laughs> hospital, that's for sure. So, so. what's going to happen on this floor that's kind of unique? Well, this is the floor where our surgical patients will be. So today, those surgery kids can be on any of our floors, and with opening this floor, it allowed us to define yet another specialty area. So Why do we need a special floor for people who've had surgery? Well, care for kids that have had surgery is a little bit different than care for kids that, have, that are here for other reasons, for medical reasons as opposed to surgical. So it allows us to really form relationships with those surgeons to understand exactly what they're looking for and for us to be able to really teach the families how to care for their child when they take them home. Perfect. Yeah, we're really what excited. are some other things that make this kind of a special space? Well we learned a lot from being in the building for three years now so um, and we hear, heard from our families we always listen to our parents and so they gave us some recommendations um, for example we have one set of adjoining rooms um, that often we have um, families in who have two, two children in at the same time interestingly um, whether it's respiratory or car accidents or you know whatever the experience might be and and even though we put them side by side whenever we can, it still means leaving one room, going to the other. So the families asked us about adjoining rooms. So I kind of, oh, really, do we need to do that? And the families, as always, were absolutely right. I think that's brilliant. Um, now you're just like right, th right there. You're right there. You can see, uh, you can eyeball both children at the same time. I so think that's awesome. Yep. You know, I, we have to talk about some of the artwork here because I love that the hospital is truly committed to kids all yep. the way through what you put on your walls. Yep. This was absolutely, Dr. Connors, who's our president, this was absolutely his brainchild. And his comment was, if you want artwork that looks like children did it you should have children do it thank you so, <laughs> it seems so simple so we've had about seven probably over seven thousand kids now who have participated in our artwork so certainly through your park parties you know I was just gonna say it brings <laughs> yes. me right back to summer 2013 where Helen DeVos had a beautiful tent and every week at our park parties your mm -hmm. fabulous team came out and worked with children yes. to create art that's gonna be a part of this yeah. it's amazing it is absolutely beautiful and you would think that it was done it was done by you know by professionals now the LaFonses helped us a bunch with the framing and the gathering but the artwork is fabulous and like so we had patients and we had prior patients and children of staff and and our community who helped create this artwork. from your perspective as someone in the medical profession what does having artwork bright colors cheerful experiences how does that 
it help us through that healing process? It's really important, and it sounds a little bit dramatic, but a child's first experience in the hospital can really shape how they feel about health care for the rest of their lives. So if it's a good experience, they'll continue to come back. If it's really scary and painful, um, they're going to avoid it. And that's just, pre it's again, pretty simple. So we really want this to be a fun experience, and that sounds counterintuitive, but our kids have fun here. They go through difficult times. There's nothing more difficult than being in the hospital or having a child in the hospital, but we really try to make it as normal as we can be and fun. So the, the shapes and the colors and the artwork, those are all, it doesn't look like a hospital and that was very intentional. So it's not scary and that it's friendly and it's fun. It's awesome. Thank you for all you do, Sherry, uh, and for being all kids all the time here at Holland of Boss. It's my pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Coming up, we'll cut the chain and head inside one of the rooms on the new fifth floor at the Helen DeVos Children's Hospital.